All right, today I'm gonna to be giving you a quick overview of Google Ads dynamic search ads, including how to create ad groups with dynamic ads in them. So I recently did a longer version of this tutorial. This one is 30 minutes over here, so I'll link to this in the video description. If you've already watched this tutorial, then I'm gonna be going over a lot of the same concepts, but in this video, I'm just gonna be doing it much quicker. So to get started, when you have a search campaign, when you've already created a search campaign, one of the things you can do is create a new ad group so when you go into your ad groups and you create a brand new ad group, you're gonna have the option to either create a standard or a dynamic ad group. So with a standard ad group, you are targeting keywords the same way we've always targeted keywords, and then you're gonna be creating your responsive search ads. With a dynamic ad group, you get different ways that you can actually target your website based on different categories of your website, based on specific web pages, or just choosing to target all web pages. If you wanna just say, I wanna run search ads and I wanna do basically no work, then what you could do is target all web pages, allow Google to target basically every single web page on your website. I would not really recommend this, but it is an option. So the other thing you can do is target based on categories. The categories are gonna be created automatically based on how Google indexes your website. So if you enter a different website when you are setting up your search campaign, um, one of the examples I'll be using today is for tripadvisor.com. If I were to enter tripadvisor.com when I'm setting up a search campaign, then it's gonna give me different categories I can target. And I'll show you that as we build our dynamic search ads campaign. But what you can do here is the example I'm using is my website brickpop.com. Within this website, I have Montessori toys, so a lot of blog posts that go over different types of Montessori toys, different types of STEM toys. I have a shop on my website, which I'll go through in a second, and how we can actually target specific shop pages and specific product pages. So what we could do is we could choose from some of these categories, and if we just use the example right here of puzzles, so the, we have toys, puzzles, search volume, 148,000. If we go over here to the preview, you're gonna see, here is an example of how your ad could work. Google search that triggers your ad, Montessori Puzzles. My landing page is brickpop.com slash Montessori Puzzles. And on that page, it's, it's a blog post of the 24 best Montessori Puzzles for 2023. So what we could do is I could just target puzzles and Google will basically handle the rest. We choose puzzles, then we create our dynamic search ad. All we need to do is write description line one and description line two and click on done, save and continue, and we have a brand new ad group. So we're just gonna do this really quickly. Click on done. Obviously you wanna write much better description lines. Save and continue, and now we have a new dynamic search ad group. So that's how quick you can actually create them. Obviously that's not a good ad group. I didn't even name the ad group, but just giving you a quick example of how easily you can actually use dynamic search ads within your existing search campaigns. So you can target standard keywords the same way we always do with our search campaigns just like this where we have Montessori bath toys here and then what we can also do don't do this where you put all three match types in the same ad group I was just doing this as an example one match type per ad group you could always test keywords but only run one match type per ad group so if we come back over to our search campaign and over within our search campaign, we go to our ad groups here. This is where we can create our new dynamic ad groups, even within a standard search campaign. Now, if we come over to create a brand new campaign, so we are coming over to our campaigns here and we wanna create a brand new campaign. New campaign, first you wanna select your campaign objective. So let's just say, for example, we are doing this for TripAdvisor. TripAdvisor is trying to get people to actually book new hotels. So we're gonna say, we're trying to drive sales and we have our conversion goal set up. Obviously these conversion goals are not set up for TripAdvisor whatsoever. We wanna run a search campaign. We wanna get website visits for our search campaign. Our business website is tripadvisor.com and our campaign name is TripAdvisor Dynamic Search Ads. Okay, we're gonna click on continue. We're gonna focus on conversions, click on next. We are gonna be just targeting the search network. We can include Google search partners. We can always exclude them later. Let's just say we're gonna target the United States. We're targeting uh, the English language. We are not gonna add audience segments right now. I'll go over audience segments in other videos. Um, broad match keywords off, click on next. And now we have our keywords and our ads. So now here's what's gonna happen is it's gonna tell us to build our first ad group. So. When we build our first ad group, it's actually not gonna give us the option to create a dynamic ad group here. So we have to start with a standard ad group. So let's just say our standard ad group, we're not gonna really change much. It has TripAdvisor, it's gonna pull in all of our keywords here. You do not wanna set up an ad group like this that's targeting all these keywords. We're just trying to kind of skip this step. So next is our responsive search ad. So you obviously wanna create a much better responsive search ad than I have here. But we're gonna click on next. We'll pause this ad group after we launch our campaign. 
set our custom budget. So just to make sure I don't want this campaign to run and spend anything because I do not want to send traffic to TripAdvisor and pay for it. Um, so we have a $5 custom budget. Click on next. And now what we can do is launch our campaign. The most important thing when you're setting up a dynamic search ads campaign is your bidding strategy, making sure you have conversion tracking set up. Um, so we have our, our conversion trackings here. Our objective is sales. We have our bidding strategy, maximize conversions. Google search network search partners do not target the display network in your search campaigns. Uh, language targeting, location targeting. You can add audience segments if you want. My ad has issues. That's not a surprise. Um, Okay, I had to fix my ad. The one thing with your ads is you also want to make sure you're you're creating assets as well. So make sure you have assets created at the campaign level. We'll go through that in a minute after we launch our campaign. So now we're publishing our campaign. And now what we want to do is we want to start targeting for our TripAdvisor campaign. So we're going to come over here to our ad groups here. So we can come over to our standard ad group. Okay, on the left, we could just hit campaigns and ad groups. And now open up all of our ad groups. So let's pause this ad group because we don't want this one to run. Um, we'll just click on next, pause ad group. We don't need to give Google a reason. Click on the plus sign to create a new ad group. And what we want to do is now set up our dynamic search ad group. So we're going to change this ad group type. Now, before we get too far into this, um, so first things first, you're going to see these categories. We have 51 total categories here based on the TripAdvisor website. If we scroll over this Georgia here, so TripAdvisor things to do in Savannah your landing page, the 15 best things to do in Savannah. So they actually set these up really well and you can use categories and create really targeted ad campaigns a lot easier than targeting keywords, especially when you have a lot of pages on your website. Now, one of the things you can do is actually use a page feed to target your ads. So you need to actually create a page feed and upload it. There is a page feed template that is available through the Google ads help pages when you search for dynamic search ads. Basically how it works is you enter all the page URLs you wanna target on the left-hand side. So in your first col column here, and in column B, you wanna set labels for all of these pages. So if you have a page here where it's like HTTPS, we're just gonna create a fake page here and just say hotels in Savannah. So since we just use our Savannah, Georgia example, then what you would do over here is for your custom label, you would have something like Savannah. You would have Savannah hotels and we could just do hotels. So basically you have three different labels where if you want to target by label, you could target Savannah and that would target um, any of the pages that you have here with Savannah as a custom label. So if we have things to do in Savannah, restaurants in Savannah, et cetera, et cetera, we target that custom label Savannah, and it's going to target all those pages that are listed under that custom label. If we do hotels in Savannah and do a bunch of different links here of the individual hotels, then we can target based on this custom label of Savannah hotel. So I'll show you where to upload that at the very end. Now, what I want to go over is how to target specific web pages and make this much easier for yourself, where if you're TripAdvisor, for example, you want to target anybody who's looking for hotels in Nashville, or I have Nashville here. Yeah, we'll just use Nashville as our example. So what you want to do is you want to look at the URL structure here, and this may not work for every single website, but TripAdvisor has a really good URL structure here, where what we could do is if you look at the URL at the top, tripadvisor.com slash hotels, Nashville, Davidson County, Tennessee. Then what we can do is we can use a new rule to target specific web pages and say create rules to target the web page URL contains. So you just have URL. We could also do page content, page title, or category. But URL contains, and we do hotels and URL contains, and just take a couple of these words out here. So Nashville, Davidson County. That is going to target this page right here. Okay, so we say URL contains hotels and Nashville, Davidson County, click on add. And now we have our dynamic ad target here. Okay, so our final URL is dynamically generated. Basically, it's going to be this URL here. Our headline is dynamically generated. Our display URL is dynamically generated. You want to write two really good description lines. Okay, so they're pretty similar here, but we enter our two description lines and now we click on done and we click on save and continue. You can create multiple dynamic search ads in each ad group. Okay, so now we have our ad group created there. And what we want to do is we want to target each individual hotel page within Nashville. So I open up these top two pages here. Just It has Comfort Inn and the Holiday in Nashville. And what you want to do is you want to look at the same thing up at the very top. What is unique about the URLs for these individual pages? And for this one, instead of hotels, it's hotel. And then what we have is at the very end here, Nashville. 
And then we also have the same thing, Nashville, Davidson County, Tennessee. So that's how they do a lot of these for all of these individual hotels. So what you want to do is you want to review some of these different hotel pages and look at what is unique about the URLs. So then what we can do is create a new dynamic ad group here. And we're going to do our ad group type is dynamic. So change our ad group type, ad group name. We're going to say Nashville All Hotels. And now what we can do is scroll down to specific web pages, say use create rules to target a web page. And we want to say the URL contains, and what we could do is all of them contain this hotel review. So for each individual hotel, we could do hotel review and we enter URL contains that and the URL contains, and we could just literally do Nashville here. So we use those two. We add this as a target, save and continue, create your advertisements again. So we're just going to skip this step for right now. And you just continuously do that until you build out your entire campaign. So it makes it much easier than actually targeting individual keywords. And then when people are actually typing in the Holiday Inn Nashville, what's going to happen is Google Ads is automatically going to use your headline here. They're going to use your final URL here. And all you really need to do is make sure that you are writing a really two really good description lines to say, book your hotel in Nashville. It doesn't have to be geared towards exactly what people are searching. And it's that simple to create dynamic search ads in your Google Ads uh, account. So this is how dynamic search ads work. You want to create... It, new ad groups, set them as dynamic. When you set up a campaign, it's going to automatically make you do a standard ad group. And then the other thing that you can do is if you come over to tools and business data, this is where you can actually upload your page feed template. Uh, so you come over here to data feeds, you click on the plus side and enter your page feed there. And that's how you can actually upload your new page feed and then use those labels within your dynamic search ads. Last but not least, when you set up your campaign with your dynamic search ads, Make sure that within your campaign, you go to your assets and make sure you are setting assets up at the campaign level. So your business name, business logo, site link assets, call out assets, structured snippets, call, lead form, location. You can add some of these to the ad group level as well. So that will only help your campaign performance. So these are dynamic search ads. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today.